In this lesson, we will create a quiz activity. The quiz activity module allows the teacher to design and build quizzes, consisting of a large variety of question types, including multiple choice, true false, and short answer type questions. First, click Turn Edit and On. Navigate to the third week of the course. Expand Add an Activity drop down menu and select Quiz from the available options. Let's enter the name for the quiz as Demo Quiz. In the introduction text box enter, attempt the quiz to answer the questions and achieve the grade. Scroll down. Under general block, expand attempts allowed drop down menu. And select 2 to limit the maximum allowed attempts to 2. Expand grading method drop down menu. And select average grade. This way, the final grade will be calculated by averaging scores of both attempts. In the Layout section, expand Question Order drop-down menu and select Shuffled Randomly to shuffle the questions in the quiz randomly. Then expand New Page drop-down menu and select Every Two Questions to set New Page to appear after two questions every time. Then under Question Behavior, leave Shuffle Within Question to default Yes and expand How Questions Behave drop-down menu. We can set Question Behavior from here. Let's see what every option means. Adaptive mode and adaptive mode with no penalties allow students to have multiple attempts at the question before moving on to the next question. The question can adapt itself to the student's answer, for example, by giving some hints before before asking the student to try again. In case of deficit feedback, students must enter an answer to each question and then submit the entire quiz before before is graded or they get any feedback. In interactive mode the feedback that a student gets after every wrong attempt of the question can be custom set. Too many wrong attempts would make the student skip to the next question and question would be graded as wrong or partially correct. Immediate feedback is similar to interactive mode. In this student can submit their response immediately during the quiz attempt and get it graded. However, they can only submit one response and they cannot change it later. With manual grading, you can choose to have every question in the quiz manually graded. In deferred feedback, or immediate feedback with CBM, certainty-based marking, the student does not only answer the question, but they also indicate how sure they are. The grading is adjusted by the choice of certainty. Let's leave it to default to deferred feedback. Scroll down. By checking or unchecking different boxes in review options, you can change what users can see at different stages of quiz. Scroll down to Overall Feedback Area and enter General Feedback for different grade boundaries as shown. Now click Save and Return to Course and click Turn Editing off to exit editing mode. Now scroll down and notice that the quiz has been added. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.